Hey guys, so today I'm trying a different thrift store. I've never been to this one. It's uh, a little ways away from my house. It's called Opportunity Village Thrift Store. So I'm gonna try it and see what, if I find anything good. Wish me luck. All right, so this is the place that I came to. Um, I found this. I do have um, a complaint on them. Uh, I shouldn't have bought it, but I did. Anyways, oh my God, you know what I just looked up? And I just seen a Dollar Tree right there. Guess where I'm going? Dollar Tree. So I found some stuff on my wish list, you guys. I was so excited. This Dollar Tree actually had a lot of stuff. Um, I just could, I couldn't go crazy <laughs> buying stuff. Um, I had some groceries in the back too of my car and it's kind of warm out here. So um, I had to hurry up and get some stuff. But um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about that thrift store when I get home. Uh, I think I'm gonna end up doing this vlog, vlog style. So, all right guys, so now I'm headed home. So I wanna show you what I picked up at Dollar Tree because I can't take these up to my craft room because they're kind of heavy. So I picked up four of these big Arizona Mucho Mangos that hubby um, liked. I picked up four for my family. They like this stuff and this is let's see uh, how many ounces so this is 64 ounces which is pretty big it's not a bad size for a dollar considering that you get um, a small one for a dollar at the store so this is not bad at all for a dollar so I picked up four of them so the things that were on my wish list were these bags right here look at how adorable this bag is now I seen a princess one at my Dollar Tree, but it's not the one that I was looking for. I was looking for this one because Princess Jasmine has a boo on her shoulder. Do you see that? Then you have uh, Merida, I believe that's her name, from Brave. Belle, you have Cinderella, you have um, from Tangled, um, oh, Rapunzel, I couldn't remember her name. Snow White, Tiana, and then you could barely see right there, Ariel. Uh, but isn't that adorable? I thought it was so adorable that this is the one that I was looking for. So I picked up two of them, one for me, one for my, my daughter. Then the next one that I found was this one. Um, I wasn't even looking for this one, and I found this one, and I liked it. I thought it was really cute, so I picked up two of them as well, one for my daughter and one for me. Uh, the sight on this one is just the colors like that. And then this one on the side just has little flowers on there. But those are so cute, and I was so glad that I found them. And then I found the socks that I was looking for for my son-in-law. I should have picked them up when I bought my boys theirs, but I didn't because I procrastinate. And then I found them at this Dollar Tree. So I picked up these two, like the ones that I had hauled for my boys for their Easter baskets. These are going to be for my son-in-law's basket. And then I've already told you guys that I have my daughter and son-in-law and their puppy moving in with us. So for my boys' Easter baskets, I got them some Band-Aids. They like Batman, so I got them the, the Batman Band-Aids because... Priscilla is in a biting phase. We call her Sharky because her teeth really hurt. They're like little Sharky teeth. So I'm preparing them for Sharky's arrival. So they're going to have their Band-Aids in their Easter uh, baskets. And then I picked up this gummy Beauty and the Beast for my niece's basket. Same thing with this one for my niece's basket. And then I have bought this m and here. For me but I'm not gonna eat them right now uh, so yeah so that's everything I found at that Dollar Tree I mean I was so happy to find these guys uh, really excited about that all right let me get into this that I found at the that thrift store that I went to so this item is six dollars I don't know if you guys can see um, outside on their door, they have a sign that says on Thursdays, Thursdays through Sunday, the blue tags are 50% off. So I went in and I found this Pyrex. Now it's not really my style of Pyrex, but I looked it up and it is a rare 
Pyrex dish. And so I figured, you know what? For $3, I'll pick it up because it's $6. 50% off is 3 And um, yeah, it says it down here. I don't know if you guys can see where it says Pyrex. Anyway, um, it has the lid and everything on here, which is great. You know, a lot of the Pyrex dishes, when you find them, you don't find them with the lid. But when I went to pay, the girl told me it was $6 and change, whatever the tax, right? So, and I had asked her, okay, I've never been here, so can you please explain, do you guys do the, the sales, you know, with the tags? And she said, we do. Unfortunately, she goes, our manager here makes up his own rules, is what she said. She was with another girl up there. Uh, I guess today's tags were orange. So she um, said that the orange tags were 50% off. I sh my fault, too. I should have asked, but I didn't. Um, and so then another girl came up, and the three of them started talking, saying how they couldn't stand this manager. He makes up his own rules. He, can ch he changes it you know, whenever he feels like it. At that moment, it could be orange, and then in the next hour, it could be blue. You know, And I think that is wrong. I think that they shouldn't be doing that. I should have left this dish behind normally i would i would be like you know what i don't like the way you guys conduct your business so here you go but it is a, a rare find so i went ahead and i bought it for six dollars i again i don't know if i'm gonna keep this um i don't know if i'm gonna become a seller on ebay i've been entertaining that idea for a while and since i am currently unemployed i'm trying to find a way to make some income so I had entertained the, entertained the idea of becoming a seller on eBay, but I don't know if it's even worth it and how it works. Um, if anybody knows if it's even worth going through all that hassle of like these dishes is what I would sell, stuff like this and maybe some of my Hummels, um, let me know, please. Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I don't know how you would charge for shipping and handling. How do you come up with that price? So, anyway, I mean, I... I it's an idea that I'm kind of, a uh, you know, swirling around in my head. So not sure if I want to become a seller. But anyway, I ended up buying it anyways, even though I didn't agree with how that manager conducts his business at this uh, Opportunity Village. I believe that's what it was. So, oh, well, I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, every thrift store has its uh, things, I guess, you know, it wasn't very busy. That should have been a sign that that thrift store was kind of a uh, dead when I walked in there. So, but then on the opposite end, when I go to my other thrift store, it is completely packed and we have rude people pushing everybody out of the way. So I guess that's just the way it goes when you're thrifting. So, um, speaking of the other one, I think I might just end up going to the other one right now, just because I want to, um, see if they have anything good. I did drive by there right now cause I had to drive by there. And, but I couldn't stop because I had groceries in my car. Uh, it was packed. I mean, the whole parking lot was full of cars. So, And they don't have like blue tag sales or anything like that. Their price is straight price. So anyway, I guess I am going to be making some green spaghetti. I already have that in my channel. But I'm going to actually do a little different. So I might record that for you guys. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should record that. I have my chiles poblanos here. And then I have my serrano chiles. I think I should record it for you guys. I do have cilantro. Yeah, I, I think I should record it for you guys. All right, I just got back from the other thrift store. There was nothing there, absolutely nothing. And it was packed, so I didn't buy anything. Anyway, I stopped by the 99 cent store because I was gonna get some of this salad mix because I'm doing this for dinner as well. And I picked up some spaghetti because I do need that for my green spaghetti. I picked up a bag of uh, cheese and garlic croutons. These are new. I hadn't seen these before there. So I picked these up. Also, they had these blueberry Fig Newtons. I like Fig Newtons. So I got myself a small little pack of, the, of these. And it is, let's see, 10 ounces. Then I picked up two of these boxes of, um, what do they call them? Oh, breadsticks and cheesy dip. It says dip and go. So I picked up two of these. You get six, I guess, in a box. Yep. 
There's something for my kids and my husband to just, you know, grab on the go. And then I picked up a box of this Belvita soft baked mixed berry bars, I guess, or cookies. And then I picked up a couple of these uh, sweetened condensed milks. These are in 13.25 ounces. And I use these for when I make my flan or my arroz con leche, or sometimes it, you know, depends on my, like on my oatmeal. It just depends. I use this for a lot of things. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start my green spaghetti. So here are all the ingredients ingredients that I am going to be using for this dish. So I have six, I have seven poblanos right here. They're, you know, medium size. They're not really big. They're not really small. They're decent size. So I have six of them. And then I have two jalapenos. I have this, I have one, two, three, four, four and a half cloves. This one's a really small clove. So, you know, basically four cloves of garlic. Uh, I have cilantro, just a little bunch of cilantro there. I have a white onion, a one whole onion. I have some heavy whipping cream. I have my spaghetti. I have some Parmesan cheese. I have a full thing of cream cheese, garlic powder, cumin, pepper, chicken bouillon, a little bit of oregano and salt. And then I have my chicken breasts here that I have to cut up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put these and toast them. I'm just going to put them straight onto the, I'm just putting them straight on. Well, oh, that one's falling through, but I'm just putting them straight onto the stove top. This is almost the same as the way you do the other one. So I'm going to toast my poblanos and my jalapenos, and then I'm going to peel them and then cut them. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. This smells so good. I love toasting these chiles because they do smell so good. Uh, the jalapenos, I'm using two. They are pretty big, so I'm using only two of them. Jalapenos usually are not that spicy. Um, the smaller ones, the serranos are, and I do have some of those, but I don't want to make this too spicy. Although my family does like the, the serranos, so maybe I'll just toast a couple of the serranos and put it into the... Um, the chicken part of it but this is basically all I'm doing I want to make sure I get it all nice and toasty all the way around that doesn't have to be perfect you just want that char taste in in your sauce so all my poblanos my two jalapenos and then I did two serrano chiles which are the smaller ones I also uh, toasted some of those so right now I'm just letting them sweat for a little bit in plastic and then I'll go ahead and peel them now what I'm going to do is before I cut any of this stuff up, I'm going to cut my chicken. I'm going to cut it into like little strips, into little pieces. It doesn't matter however you want to cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and season it with all these seasonings here. Um, I'm not going to give you, um, I'm not going to give you exact amounts because I just season it by eye. I just, you know, I don't know. I just season it, you know, so. Uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, play with the as much of the seasonings as you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this up, season it. And then I'm going to cut up my onion, my garlic. And I don't need to cut this up because I'm just going to throw that in the blender. And, um, and then we, and then I'll show you what I'm going to, how I'm going to put all this together. I turned Coco on. I love that movie, you guys. Coco. Love it. And I love how they did the mariachis in the intro for the Disney. Love it. All right. So I already peeled and took out the insides of my chiles. Um, when you're peeling them, do not run them under water because then they lose some of that charred taste that we are looking to get. So as tempting as it is, because it does get all over your hands and everywhere, um, don't run them under water. Just peel them cut them open and then take all the seeds out now as you can see i still have a little bit of seeds there i'm okay with that i peeled all my other ones too the jalapenos i cut in half i peeled them and then i cut them in half to take devein them um and the the two serranos i'm gonna leave like that i'm actually gonna put these two into the sauce and then i'm gonna put three of the poblano chiles in here um and then 
uh, let's do four. I'm going to do four poblano chiles. And then what I'm going to do is the rest, I'm just going to cut into strips as well as these. These are going to go in the chicken. Now, I seasoned my chicken. Here's my chicken. It is seasoned, and I forgot to tell you, it is boneless, skinless chicken. So I did season it. It's there already inside. I sliced up half of an onion, and um, I also cut up some two of the garlic cloves. And then left two here, which these two are going into, the two cloves are going in here. So this is a fourth of an onion that I'm putting inside there. And then I'm going to add my cream cheese, my heavy cream, and then uh, some, a little bit of water. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and blend it all up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and start to cook my chicken. All right, so I just put a little bit of oil just to coat the bottom of this pan. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my chicken in there. So once my chicken starts to get a little brown, I'll add the rest of the ingredients and then I'll show you next. All right, you guys. So um, I put in my blender four chile pasillas, not pasillas, poblanos. I put four chile poblanos in there. I put a fourth of an onion. I put two chile serranos. And then I'm going to put my, my bunch of cilantro in there. I did put two garlic cloves in there as well. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to add my cream cheese. I think I'm going to do the whole thing, actually. I'm just going to put the whole thing. Usually I do half, but I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Uh, I already diced my leftover uh, poblanos, chiles, and then the two... Jalapeños. Can't even talk today, my goodness. So this is already sliced. So is my onions and my garlic is already cut. So this is going to be for my chicken, which is already frying up. Um, then I'm going to add to that, I'm going to add this and then the heavy cream and then just a little bit of liquid just to get it to actually, you know what? I'm going to get some chicken broth and I'm going to add chicken broth. Let me see if I have some. I'm just going to add some chicken broth into this to kind of blend this and then I'm going to add my cream cheese and then the heavy cream. Um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. I want to make sure that that's almost done the chicken. I'm just showing you guys how I cook, you know, on the regular here. So I don't measure anything when I'm cooking and uh, on, on a normal basis. So I have my water here already. I already have it. Hopefully it'll boil soon. You never want your uh, pasta to be done before your sauce or anything else. You always want to make sure your sauce is done before your pasta. So um, that's just a tip. I used to work in the kitchen uh, a long, long, long time ago, and I learned a lot of these things uh, working in a kitchen. So anyway, um, basically, I think that is everything for now. And then I'll come back and show you when I start getting ready to do everything else. As you guys can see, I added some chicken broth already here. I'm going to say I added about half a cup of chicken broth. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend this. Once this is blended, then I'm going to go ahead and add the cream cheese and the heavy cream. And then um, I think I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese at the end when I'm putting this sauce into the pot. All right, I blended my chiles and the cilantro and the garlic and the onion. Now I just added some of the heavy cream. As you can see, it came kind of down. It's going to the bottom. I put the cream cheese in there and then I added a little bit of chicken bouillon and some black pepper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that up. I will say if you want it to be um, thinner and it's too thick, then go ahead and add some more chicken broth into it. And uh, just keep doing that until your sauce is to your liking. Um, I don't want it to be too thick, but I don't want it to be too runny either. So I just keep on, you know, playing with the consistency to see where um, it's at. And then um, again, you can customize all this however you want. I'm just showing you guys how I cook on a regular basis. So that's why I'm not giving you pretty much any re really like instructions on how to do certain things or um, I'm not giving you um, exact measurements. So I'm just vlogging. So I'm just showing you guys how I do certain things on, you know, certain days. 
Okay, so I already fried up my chicken. Now I added, in the same pan that I fried up my chicken, I added a little bit of oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my onion to saute it. So now I'm just gonna let these guys kinda get a little translucent and get some of these, these bits of the chicken. Don't wanna waste that, that's a lot of flavor there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my poblanos in there and then my garlic and finish sauteing it and then I'm going to add my sauce into this. added my salsa into my into the um, onion and poblanos and the garlic and now I'm just gonna let that simmer and then I'll, I'll throw in once it starts to bubble a little bit then I'll add my chicken and let it finish simmering and then I'm gonna go ahead and my water's boiling for the pasta and then I'll just put it together and it should be done all right I already added the chicken into my sauce. I tasted it. I corrected the seasoning on my uh, sauce. So now it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and drain my pasta and then I'm gonna add this into this pot here because this is too small and if I add my pasta in here, it's gonna overflow and I'm just gonna add the pasta to it, mix it all together, um, sprinkle my cheese in there and it should be done. And that's it, that's simple. All right, you guys, there it is. It's completely done. You see that? You have chicken, rajas, and uh, onions, and it looks so good. I can't wait for hubby to get home so we can have dinner. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to make a salad, and we're going to eat, and that's it. I found this new creamer. It's strawberry cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. I just opened it, took off the um, aluminum on the top, and it smells so good. So we're going to try it today and see if it's any good. I'm sure it is. All right, so this creamer tastes like strawberries. It does taste like a strawberry cheesecake. It is really good. I hope you guys can find it because it is delicious. I wanted to show you guys my wreath that I made out here. This is the one that I didn't like the way it came out. I think it came out pretty pretty bad but for now I just have it out here well let me show you guys close up you can see I put a little bow there and a little bow there and then I try to cover up a lot of my fails with those, all those eggs that I was getting rid of so that's what I did I just don't care for it I think it came out pretty ugly but it's just something for now to put on my door and I use this ribbon as well on that one and that one. This ribbon and that ribbon. Um, this ribbon here. Yeah, that's my wreath. Okay, let's go inside. I'm going to go around showing you guys what I have for Easter so far. So in the entry, I have these two little bunnies that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And then this bunny here that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. I just put them right in this little area here. Then right over here, I have in my little ottoman that I have in the middle, middle in the middle of my living room. Um, you can actually turn the top over, and it's like a little table. But I just left it ottoman style. Oh my gosh, this guy right here! Look at him. He wants to play all of a sudden. But anyway, um, I have my bunny runner that I picked up at Target on the ottoman here and then I put this little tray here where I put this little bunny from Hobby Lobby and then I just bunched up these picks together 
and I just put them right here because I thought they look really pretty. I like the way they look. Really classic looking with old fashioned bunnies on there. I think it looks really pretty. Um, and then this is that little tower, that Easter tower that hubby bought for me at the thrift store. And then I haven't even lit this candle that my sister gave me a couple years ago. So that's in that little area here. Then on this little table over here, I just put this little um, thing here that I made. Um, what are they called? It's for seeds, to plant seeds. Well, anyways, I just, uh, I have did a DIY on these. I painted that one. And then I made these little eggs myself. And I put them right there. And then right here in this little bunny candy dish, I have some of those candies. Um, what are they? The Starburst? I just opened them up and threw them in there. Or now or later, that's what they are. Now or later. I opened up the um, pack of now or later and I put them in there. And then I just have a little egg right there. So that's that little area right here. Over here where the television is at, I like the way this looks, this vase. It looks like an Easter egg, so I put it right here. And I just put my little foiled, foiled bunnies here. And I put one of those garlands of eggs here. And then I put these little guys that I picked up at the thrift store here. And then I just put some of this plant. I, I cut this plant up that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. Then I have these little baby chicks here. Uh, I was getting rid of this one. It was going in my donation pile. But I ended up taking that out and keeping it. And I just made a little funky bow. And I just tied it to the top up there. And then that's what I did with this little Easter sign. So that's that area here. Then right over here, I put my ugly bunnies that my son said they're, <laughs> he says they're ugly. Um, and I just put a little sign here that this bunny's holding. I haven't done anything to them yet. Um, on my tree here, I just added this big sign here. And then I ended up putting lights on this tree here. Um, I will light it up at night so you guys can see what it looks like. I actually put all these little eggs on here. These are those lights. I put these lights on that I picked up at the thrift store and then I also put around on the base. Let me see if you guys can see here. Yeah, see here on the base I put these pastel lights from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I just put all the little tags all around. I put all these little throughout the tree as you guys can see. And I put another egg there and you know, there's one there. And I'll stand back so you can see that. Okay. And then over here, on this little table here, I put this little bunny from Target. And then this right here, this milk glass. I actually looked it up. It is um, a candle holder. So I have these candles here that are eggs, and I just placed them right on top. And then here I have this candle that I have bought at the thrift store for a dollar a while ago. I haven't uh, turned it on yet. It's exotic jasmine and I placed it right on top of this little cupcake stand from Target. And that's that little area right there. And so that's the living room here. Oh, that's right here. There's Dodger. There's that there, this, and then that. Now I'm going to take you towards the dining room. So in my dining room, all I did was I put inside my little bird cage here, I put my bunny, that, another little baby chick, and then those eggs that I had decoupaged. Well, that one I didn't, but that one I did. And then... Um, I made my garland. All this is is just regular Christmas garland. And then I got some of those pastel lights from Hobby Lobby. 
and I just intertwine them all in the garland. Same thing with these lights here that I picked up at the thrift store. They're the egg shaped lights. And then this is just, um, I'm not done with it. I don't think, I think I'm still going to add more like greenery in here. Uh, but for now I just put this, um, mesh from the Dollar Tree and I just did bundles of three and then I just put them throughout and then I put garland that egg garland that I had picked up at the thrift store I wrapped it around this whole thing here all this garland here and then I put these little guys all in the front of where the garland is at then here's my little bunny I took off I took off his little hat as you guys can see and then here I have this carrot sign that I bought at Dollar Tree and I did a funky bowl on that one as well and I placed it right up here as you can see there's a hole here I took off the the little handle that was on there and I just threaded through this little hole on this side the pipe cleaner and I tied it in the back to attach the funky bowl and then here's another one of those vases that looks like an egg so I put it right there I just love the way that looks so that's this area here let me stand back so you guys can see and then I wanted to decorate my table but I don't think I'm gonna do that and then I have my little bunny here and then right over here in the kitchen I just have this apothecary with some of these eggs there and then I just put this little bunny right here and I just place that one against the wall and then here I have this candle here lemon meringue this one smells good this is from the Dollar Tree that one smells really good it smells like you're baking something over here by my microwave oven and my oven I put these little bunnies here I just placed them right here these are from the 99 cent store and then in my baking area I just put you know what you guys I noticed that these are just for right hands they don't have any for left-handed people I mean I'm not left-handed but it would be nice to have a left-handed one too but they don't have those at the hand cent store so anyway I just put these two oven mitts here and then I put this little cookie jar here and then over here I just put that garland that I have bought at Target and look at this is the color that my husband painted my KitchenAid. I don't know if you guys remember, it was black and he painted it in this rose copper color. I think it looks beautiful. And then I kept those peeps. I was getting rid of those as well and I ended up keeping those. I only kept the peeps and that one uh, chick sign. That was it. Everything else I ended up giving away. But I did keep these and I just placed them there. Then right over here I have some of these spring looking... Uh, spatulas and all that stuff there um, here's this little candy house that I don't have a light to and then right in here in this apothecary I put all my like spring and bunny Easter looking cookie cutters and I just put them in there and then that I made that tree and then in here I just put all my um, my measuring spoons and stuff like that in here And that's basically it in that little area right here. All right, so in the area that's right here by the fridge, all I did was I put this little bunny dish right inside my cloche, and I put a little piece of that plant, and then I just put all these little eggs that I had made inside there, and that's how that looks there. And look, you guys, right over here, this is my little salt and pepper shaker that I had bought at the thrift store years ago or last year or two years ago, whatever it was. And I found it in my cupboard. So I just put my little salt and pepper shaker next to my Pixar crock pot. And then in my little chip cup, I just put one of these little, uh, what are they called? These little plants. I just put it right inside chip just like that. I think that looks so cute. So I left it just like that. So yeah, that's how that looks there. And then right here on my island, I didn't really do much yet 
Um, never mind those bags back there and all that. I'm going to make menudo. So I have all that stuff out there. But I just put these that um, eggs that I had decoupage on my little candle holder. And then I just put this happy spring sign there. And that's it. That's all I have down here. All right, so I added some greenery to this garland. Um, not really the kind of greenery that I like, but it'll do for now. So this is what it looks like at night, all lit up. Let me pan through it really quickly. All right, here it is. Maybe you can see this. There is that area. All right, so here's the tree. Here are those egg lights. I don't know if you could see it in there. There's some in there, and then over here you could really see. see. Just it's a little subtle, but I just wanted to, you know, have a little light inside the on the tree because I didn't want to take out and do my Easter tree. I didn't want to take out a Christmas tree, so. Maybe next year I'll do an Easter tree. This year, this is what I'm doing. There is my little Easter tower. What a cute. Ouch. That's all right. And I have the candle on now. And there's hubby. You can't even see. I can just see the shine of your glasses. The reflection. That's it from the TV. That oh, is no. too funny. Oh, scary. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my bubble witch look. Oh, Lord. He's playing bubble witch. Bubble, no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, he is. So while trying to turn, oh no, look at who's there. So while trying to turn this off, I hit the other button at the bottom and I didn't realize it made no, it made music. That's so cute. <laughs> I do. Look at how cute. How cute! I could see you over here. Alright, let's look at this menudo. Look at this. Oh, look at this menudo. Look at this patita. That one has my baby's name written all over it. Look at that. Right there. Mm. Oh, yum. Oh, yes. Looks good. And then hubby's, one of hubby's favorite salsitas is this, just straight chile. Look at that. Oh my God. Yum, yum, yum. Can't wait. Yum, yum, yum. I made homemade menudo. Waiting for Mel to get here. Have everybody here already, the boys, and now waiting for Mel. You just got yum. for more too? Yum. Not me. And I made that yeah, one too. That that's that Sita. Look at that. Oh, she yeah. Made the water too. Maldito chamaco. You should see her walk on it. 
so that is everything that I have for Easter so I think that's all I'm gonna do this year I'm not gonna do much but that's it and I think this is where I'm going to end my vlog so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye